Some people die peacefully of old age, while others get crushed by a vending machine. So here's the top 10 most embarrassing deaths. Coming in at number 10. A man who ate himself to death. We got the normal eater, bulking eater, and the stress eater. But when you combine a sense of ego into the mix, you get Julian Offrey. Julian Offrey de la Maitre, a French doctor and philosopher, believed that sensual pleasures, such as eating and having fun, were the sole reasons for life. That being said, when a man he healed hosted him a feast, he thought, What a perfect time to show off how powerful and strong I am by devouring a large plate of truffles? How stupid. Stupid do you have to be to try and prove a point by eating too much. As a result, he developed a gastric illness of some sort and eventually died. Number 9. Bashed to death with his own wooden leg. Being bashed to death by anything would suck. Like imagine you're just trying to get your last words out and broski just starts bashing your head in with your own wooden leg. Arthur Aston was a lifelong professional soldier known for his support of King Charles I in the English Civil War. That is, until he lost a leg as a result of a fall from a horse in September 1644, and was relieved as governor receiving a large pension from the king. That boy was banked up. In 1649, the town was stormed and many civilians were massacred by the victorious soldiers. Aston agreed to surrender after a parley on the bridge, thus giving the soldiers an opportunity to remove the wooden leg from Aston, leading to the bashing of his brains with his own wooden leg. Number 8. Lawyer Runs Out of Window Gary Hoy was a corporate and securities law specialist for the law firm of Holden Day Wilson in Toronto. While giving a tour of the Toronto Dominion Centre to a group of articulating students, he attempted to demonstrate the strength of the structure's window glass by slamming himself into a window. Obviously, this man wasn't the smartest of the bunch. I mean, who in their right mind would throw their 160-pound self into a glass sitting 24 stories high? He had apparently performed the stunt many times in the past, having previously bounced harmlessly off the glass. After one attempt, which saw the glass hold up, Hoy tried once more. That's never a smart idea. And of course, in this instant, the force of Hoy slamming into the window removed the window from the frame, sending Hoy to his fatal plunge. I mean, he was kind of right though. The glass didn't break if that makes anything better. Number 7. Being killed by the elephant he killed. When Elazar Averin saw that one of the elephants was larger than the others whilst covered with royal armor, he thought that the king was riding on top of it. He ran boldly towards the elephant, which was in the middle of the battalion of infantry, killing men to the left and right so that the enemy soldiers fell back before him on both sides. Wait, wait, wait. Are we about to see a Michael Bay movie? Nah. He slipped in under the elephant and stabbed it to death. And it fell on him and killed him. Although he did accomplish something, because when the Jews realized how strong the royal army was, they retreated. Number 6. Lawyer accidentally shoots himself defending client. Thomas McGeehan was accused of shooting Myers in a gambling gone wrong situation. Now most of the time you're going to be making money gambling, but these boys found themselves in a different situation. The defense was convinced that Myers actually shot himself trying to pull the gun out of his side. This is where Clement Vallingdam comes in. While talking to his co-counsel, he is told to unload his weapon for safety. Being overly confident and cocky about his skills with guns, he refuses. Bro must have played Call of Duty back in the day, trick shots and all that. And so it begins, Val received a package, an unloaded revolver that has been used as a trial exhibit. Back in the hotel room, Val places both weapons on the table, side by side. I think we can all tell what goes wrong here. As the other lawyers join him in the room, Val proceeded to test his theory that Meyer shot himself. Val accidentally grabbed the loaded gun, placed the revolver in his pocket, and slowly drew it out, pointing the gun at his abdomen in the exact position he believed Myers had shot himself. Thinking the gun was unloaded, he pulled the trigger. Well, he did in fact win the case, but was it worth it? Number 5. Threw himself into a volcano. 
Must have been that Wii Resort volcano. Empedocle was a fascinating ancient Greek philosopher, poet, and scientist whose life was marked by impressive achievements. Empedocle had gained a great following, which then had Bro thinking like he was a god. He decided to perform a final act that would demonstrate his divinity to his followers. He invited them to gather on top of Mount Etna, where he announced that he would jump into a crater and ascend to the heavens. They were all cheering, jump, 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 jump. Do a front flip. He then leapt into the fiery pit, but his body was not consumed by the flames. Instead, it was thrown back out of the volcano by a sudden eruption, and his followers discovered his sandals lying at the edge of the crater. They realized that Empodocle had not become a god, but instead perished in his attempt to transcend his mortal existence. Number 4. Fun with a Horse Videotaped by a friend, Kenneth Pinion, somewhere in his mind, thought it would be a good idea to have a stallion enter his personal space, if you know what I'm saying. During personal space time, he suffered a perforated colon from booty intercourse from a stallion and later died of his injuries. The stallion schlong measured 2.5 to 3 feet. To put in perspective, that's your average baseball bat. Pinion knew he was injured, but... Out of concern for his security clearance at Boeing, he refused his friend's pleadings to go to the hospital. A. I would do the same. But I would. Whoa, 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 pause. I would not get myself in that situation though. So this continued for several hours until one of them dropped him off at the hospital. It was informally referred to as the two man, one horse. The video footage was later shared through the internet. Please, do not go looking for it. Number three tripping on skirt. King Hamuyan was sitting on the roof of his library in a group of buildings known as Din Pana. Hamuyan was descending the staircase in his library with books when he suddenly heard a zan. It was a practice whenever he heard a zan to bow his knees in holy reverence. Trying to kneel, he caught his foot in his robe and crumbled down several steps, hitting his head on a stone edge. The slip caused him to fracture his skull, killing him three days later. You know, I kind of get this one. Like, I be tripping on the weirdest things sometimes. Number two, Segway plus cliff equals not fun. Jimmy Hesseden was a British businessman that bought the Segway company from its US inventor Dean Kamen in December 2009. There was a person walking their dog up a steep incline and at the top stood Jimmy. Mr. Christie, the dog walker, said that he saw the businessman move a short distance backwards in a reversing move. He assumed it was to make room for him to pass. He said Mr. Hesselden appeared to wobble and then went straight out of his view. The Segway was found in the river near his body, indicating that he was still riding the scooter when he drove over the cliff. Bro ended like a scene straight out of Looney Tunes. Number 1. Bearded Fate Hans Steininger, a 16th century town mayor who's since become somewhat of a folk figure. His incredible beard, which is said to have been over four and a half feet long, looms large in the town's cultural memory. Steininger was a popular mayor, serving multiple terms, but in 1567, he met his end. On September 28th of that year, there was a large fire in the town that caused a general panic. Steininger usually keeps his luscious beard hair rolled up and stuffed in a pocket, but during the commotion, he was running around with it hanging free. He managed to step on his own beard, sending him tumbling down a flight of stairs and breaking his neck, killed by his own beard.